So you've read the work of Charles Taylor. You've thought about the ways in which our world has changed quite a bit from the way things were 500 years ago. You've given some thought to kind of the basic assumptions uh, that we make about the world, including the fact that uh, today, in the year 2013, not everyone immediately assumes that when a bad thing happens, it was caused by some form of a supernatural being. Later this unit, we'll be spending some time looking at a poem uh, called uh, Beowulf. Many of you may have read it before. and We'll be applying Taylor's theories to that poem. But I think it's useful to pause for just a minute before doing that to think about the ways in which the idea of an enchanted worldview continues to shape who we are and how we think about the world. Um, to illustrate how this mindset, this idea that we are open to the influence of a spirit world continues to be present in our culture, I want us to take a look at one response to the uh, shootings in Newtown, Connecticut that happened, uh, I believe it was December last year, it was 2012. So let's take a look at this. What I'm about to show you here is a blog post written by a man by the name of Mike Turner. He is a pastor in South Carolina as you can see here from his little biography. I really don't know anything more about him than that. But I think that what he has to say here about um, the Connecticut school shootings is instructive for us. You can see from the title that he calls this post Confronting Evil. And what he does in this blog post as you scroll through, he first sets forth his basic premise. He looks around at all of the school shootings and he believes that there is something terribly wrong and this blog post is an effort on his part to explain what it is that is so wrong. He looks at the school shootings and the next thing that he does is to go through the reasons that people believe that they happen. He points to the fact that psychologists try to explain the evil as psychological problems. Sociologists turn to other explanations. Um, but then he gets to his own explanation. He uses a book called People of the Lie by a psychiatrist by the name of Scott Peck. And what he concludes is this. You have to go back to a basic biblical truth that the modern world has forgotten. The father of evil is the devil, and the devil is actively at work in the world. No other conviction can provide a conceptual framework adequate to comprehend real evil. So you can see that in this blog post, the writer expresses his belief that evil of the sort that we see in Newtown, Connecticut, is caused not by something that can be explained scientifically, but by the active presence of a supernatural force working in the world. So what you can see in this blog post is that there is still very much a sense for some people that we are open to this spirit-filled world that can cause us to, to be influenced. Um, what I would like for you to do, and this is your, your discussion forum assignment for this part of the unit, I want you to go look for other examples, uh, for places where you see people talking about evil in this way. I want you to share a link to that site uh, along with your analysis of it. You'll see further instructions for this in the discussion forum post. But I want you to use this opportunity to, to think through how this idea of evil as a supernatural force actually does inform the way that we talk about bad things that happen in our world. I look forward to reading your postings.